Hello everyone and welcome back to Brooks Beauty Bazaar. My name is Brooke and in today's video I'm going to be doing a first impression of the new NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. Roll the footage. Alright guys, so I have nearly drained all of my current favorite fungal acne friendly foundations and so I'm definitely in the market for a new one. I had seen that this one came out about a month ago now and I immediately went and did the research on it because I basically do that to every new foundation launch to see what is going to be fungal acne safe. I was so delighted to find that this product is actually fungal acne safe and ever since that moment I haven't stopped thinking about it because I have been waiting to to be able to buy NARS again. So in today's video, I am gonna be filming a first impression application and stay tuned so that you can hear my final thoughts on it when I get to the end, as well as how it compares to some of my other favorite foundations and whether or not it's gonna knock my current favorite Lancome Tint and All out of the park. At the very least, do not click off this video until you have downloaded my free fungal acne shopping guides. I have them available for Walmart, Target, Ulta, and Sephora. All you need to do to get them is click the link in the down bar below. Just look for the shopping cart emojis. Let's do this. So before I start this application, obviously I have makeup on right now and I'm going to take off my actual foundation and face makeup. I'm gonna try to leave my eyes and my lips intact just so that we'll have a complete look and I don't have to do all of my makeup again. Um, to do that, I'm gonna try to use my Bioderma Sensibio H2O Micellar Water and just get this foundation off. So while I'm doing this process of taking off my actual facial makeup, I just wanted to kind of go over the claims around this product. Wow, my nose is looking bright red. Hello, Rudolph. Christmas has come early to this channel. So this product is gonna cost you $40. It was 43 and some change with tax at my local Sephora. Um, it comes in a shade range of 34 colors and it is supposed to be a full coverage foundation. It has a soft matte finish. It's supposed to wear up to 16 hours. It also is oxidation resistant, which sounds very fascinating and I hope it really is. And last but not least, it is transfer proof. Now, if you guys are already using foundations by NARS, then you can probably just jump over to the shade that you already use because most of the shades are the ones they have in their other formulations. However, if not, you can use the shade finder on Sephora. That's what I did. And I compared it to my current favorite foundation, which is the Lancome Tint Idol. I compared it to my shade, which is 215 Neutral in that Lancome. And I came out with the shade Medium 1.5, which is Valoris. That worked pretty well to get that foundation off without having to touch my eyes. All right, you guys, so I've got all of that foundation off and now I am just gonna quickly add some moisture back into my skin, kind of revitalize it to prep for this foundation. Because it is a matte formula, I always like to start with a well moisturized skin base and my skin just does better with makeup when I do that regardless. Um, so I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of my CeraVe moisturizing cream because my skin has been feeling a little more dry recently. All right, so I already mentioned that I used the shade finder. While this soaks in, let's just compare the two bottles side by side. So this is my Lancome Tint Idol in 215 Buff Natural. Um, neutral, I think, sorry, buff in. <laughs> and then um, this is my NARS 1.5 fluid ounces in here. And I don't know if this is coming across on screen. I know they look slightly different, but I can definitely tell that they're very, very similar. Um, and this one is really a true match for me. So I feel like this one is going to be pretty darn close. It actually, if anything, I think they're both very much a cool, like undertone, cool neutral. Um, but this one looks in the bottle to be a tiny bit warmer, which will probably work out better for me because I am kind of neutral olive. Other than that, the bottle is kind of nice. It's soft, it's a squeeze tube, which is different than a lot of other NARS that I've used in the past. And it also has that kind of soft matte finish to the actual tube like the Lancome bottle does. And both of these are supposed to be that smudge proof technology. In fact, I feel like these two products are very comparable. So that's why I also wanted to kind of compare it to this particular foundation. So normally on top of my moisturizer, I would also do an SPF, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just not gonna do that today. However, I'm gonna basically go right in 
to apply this product, I have decided to use my IT brushes for Ulta. This is the Airbrush Foundation. I think they still make this brush or one similar to it, and I will link it in the bar below for you guys. I usually love to use my Real Techniques setting brush, but I just feel like it's a little bit too small, and I like something a little fluffier and a little bit larger lately. So that's what I'm gonna use to apply it today. All right, let's break this puppy open. It is time to get started. So nice clean, it has a pointed tip on it, which is nice because then I can do my favorite product, favorite thing, which is squeeze a little bit onto the back of my hand. Now I looked, you guys, yeah, I'm liking the color of this already. I did look on Sephora's website at kind of what people were saying about this. It already has four stars and some change, which is pretty good for Sephora. And I saw people saying a little bit goes a long way and it truly does last a long time. I just took a tiny drop onto the back of my hand and I'm just starting to get a little bit with my brush. And I'm gonna kind of stipple it onto my cheek to start with um, and just get some coverage. And then I'm gonna start rolling, blending it in. I'll look at my mirror as I do this. So far, it is lightweight like they say. One reason I wanted to point out why I usually choose a matte foundation these days, and I've actually come to prefer a matte foundation, is because I have some definite ice pick box car rolling type scarring on my face from my severe cystic acne days. And I really do just find that matte foundations just really cover that a lot better and give me that look that I'm really going for on my skin as opposed to something that has a little bit more luminosity and is gonna catch the light and kind of highlight that part of my face. So I have that kind of scarring all through kind of the sides and edges of my face, all from my temples, cheeks, and a little bit onto my chin and jawline. I have to say, you guys, this is a little bit does go a long way. I did like one drop, half of my face just got done and I am loving the blend on this. I think it blends really beautifully. It definitely is a higher coverage, but I can still see my skin a little bit through it, which is what I like. I like to have makeup accentuate my natural features. Hopefully you can kind of read, this is the side that has foundation. Currently I don't have foundation on this side of my face. And you can just see my skin tone looks a lot more even, and it does look very like soft matte velvety, especially right here underneath my eye. So I have to say, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna get a little bit more onto the back of my hand. Again, very small amount, it's probably dripping. And I'm just gonna stipple it onto my face, and then I'm gonna start blending it in. So while I'm applying this and blending this in, back to what I was saying about my acne scarring, if you guys have scars, I would love to know in the comments section of this video, have you guys sought any professional type of treatments for your scarring? Because I'm currently doing a lot of research on that and looking into what will be the most effective for me. And I'd love to hear what your um, you know, journey has been through that and whether or not you thought it was kind of worth it and what you wish you'd done instead or if you're really happy with your results. Um, so sound off below for me so I can start gathering some more information. And I have to say, you guys, I'm really, I am. This this a little really does go a long way. This bottle ought to last me a long time. And I feel like I'm getting a really beautiful, just easy wearing coverage to my face. And I look soft and velvety. Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with that. And I also think the color is definitely on point. This looks really good to me. Um, a good match for my skin. And I don't even have to put concealer on, I don't feel like, to be honest, because I feel like it looks so flawless right under here already. And I don't, I will be honest, I don't suffer from extremely dark circles or anything, so there are a lot of days where I don't really feel like I need concealer. Huh, yeah, I really like it. Okay, so, blend, really great. The blend is just perfect, it blends out really nicely. I think it definitely has that soft matte texture to it. It's definitely very lightweight. I don't feel like bogged down like I have cake makeup on my face, which is really good. Oxidation, I feel like I'm going to have to wear it throughout the day, so we'll see about that one. But um, instantly, oxidation-wise, I don't see any, and if a foundation does it instantly, you know you're in for a run for your money of bad. Natural matte finish, definitely. I do feel like it's definitely high coverage, but there's probably other higher coverages out there on the market but where my skin is not so scarred, 
it's especially smooth and velvet and beautiful poreless looking. And then where my scarring is, I do feel like it just looks a lot more even and clean there than maybe some other foundations would leave. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I really need to say. Um, scent wise, it does have a little bit of a slight fragrance to it, but I can see where that's going to dissipate pretty quickly with wearing it. And so far as it compares to my Tint E Doll specifically, I actually feel like this NARS blends in easier and more buttery smooth and beautiful and I might prefer it and it's also cheaper. Um, as it compares to other fungal acne foundations that I've tried, I can actually link that video right now so you guys can check it out. As it compares to the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop, you can tell the difference with this one, I'm just gonna be honest. I think it just comes across as a much more luxurious product. As it compares to the Contrice Liquid Foundation, I think it's also much higher coverage than that one, which is meant to be a high coverage. So I'd actually you know, say this is the better value because also I only use two little dots of this whole bottle. So can you imagine how long this is gonna last me? It's gonna be incredible. So far, honestly, I can't, I can't think of anything bad to say about it. So I will have to wear it for the rest of the day and let you guys know. Obviously, I need some more time to kind of see how this wears. If you're watching this today on premiere day of this video, which is October 23rd, then tonight, make sure you come on over to my Instagram. On my stories, I'm going to be sharing my final thoughts, tell you about whether or not it kind of like lasted or didn't and all the ins and outs I think about it. And we'll talk about the oxidation and anything else. And then if you're watching this in the future, then I will make sure to save those final thoughts to a highlight so you can see what I thought about it there as well. So what do you guys think based on what you saw me do here quickly on video? Do you feel like this is a foundation you really want to try and think is a solid option or have you tried this product and what do you think about it? Sound off in the comments below as always. If you guys will direct your attention to the left side of the screen, I'm going to link two videos. The first is my fungal acne foundations video and the second is my fungal acne sunscreen video. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Brooks Beauty Bazaar for more fungal acne goodness and join me on my mission to prove that clear skin and amazing makeup can coexist. What do you exactly. think? Did you think that yeah, was like going really on pretty. really beautiful? Because mm -hmm. I was thinking it looked really nice.